If the science indicates, though, that Scotland should wait longer than the rest of the UK, is that the case? Do you think that that should be the well, case, that we could go slower if need be? Uh, 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 well, uh, yeah, but I'm not sure that the... Uh, so I'm not sure that the... I'm not sure it's good enough for politicians always to hide behind the science, actually. Uh, of course we need to be well, led by the science. What else is there if there's not the science? Well, this well, is, me, a, this is a deadly of course, disease. Of course we need to be led by the science, but the science only takes you so far. So if, for example, the science were to say that we think that the R0 number in Scotland is somewhere around 0.7, uh, or, you know, give, give or take, somewhere around 0.7. Which is if what the science you think takes of the you that moment. far, then, then, then it becomes a political choice, not a scientific choice, about what you do next. Do, do you allow um, people to um, associate beyond their households in controlled small numbers? Do you try and release aspects of, uh, of the economy to get people back to work? You know, th these aren't, those aren't scientific choices. Those are political choices. And it's, my, and it's my job to try and shine as... All I'm trying to do here is to try and shine as much light on the various different risks that ministers have to weigh up when they are making those political choices. But